Hello, and welcome to Anglo-Saxon Prayers, a video series on prayers to the gods and goddesses in Old English. In this video, we will go over on what is a prayer, further an example of a prayer, and how, how to pray essentially, and finally, further discussion, if you will, on what is a prayer. To begin, what is a prayer? A prayer is really a re request. In Old English, the word for prayer is yebed, yebed, and the verb to pray in Old English, or to ask, if you will, is biddan, and that evolved into the word, what we know now, as to bid. Uh, Cognating the German, the word for pr uh, prayer in German is gebet, and the verb, well, to, to beg, uh, to ask, if you will, is bitten in modern German. As some of us may have learned from Thomas Roussel of Survive the Job YouTube channel, that a prayer in the Indo-European tradition has three main parts. Number one, evoking the deity's name and the relevant epithets to the deity. Now, in brief, uh, an epithet is another name for someone. I'll give you an example with uh, Woden, or Odin, if you will, in the Norse context. Uh, he's also known as the Allfather, or he's also known as the One-Eyed God, or the Wanderer, if you will. All right, so that, that is what an epithet is. So, number one, um, evoking the deity's name and relevant epithets to the prayer of what you're asking for. Number two, uh, reasons, reason or reasons uh, for selecting that deity. You know, sure, you can say his name, his, his name and epithets, but uh, why? <laughs> what has he done? What has the deity has done in the past or what, what does he do? Uh, you know, so so you know yourself. You're 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 asking the right uh, deity, if you will. Yeah, that's something to uh, really bear in mind. Anyway, moving on. Number three. Number three is swearing an oath, or if you will, making a promise to the deity uh, along with your request. You know, what it really is. Uh, it's an exchange between you and the metaphys metaphysical being, well, the deity, the god or goddess. It's a conversation. How to pray. Okay, everyone, let's pretend that this table here is my altar. And everything you see on it, let's pretend, are little statues or, or little figures of the deity. All right? Let's say this is my altar, all right? All right. And in order to pray... Um, like an Indo-European, as Thomas Roussel would put it, um, one would have to, as part of ritual, one would have to sh show some uh, submission to the deity. I mean, this could be uh, kneeling down on one knee, or both knees, or it could be you could sit down, uh, um, have your legs crossed, or, wh or what have you. What it, whatever is natural to you. Again, it's not. There's no rule book in how specifically how to do it. I mean, you can. It's uh, whatever feels natural to you in that respect. I mean, as far as ritual is concerned, um, I would highly recommend to check out uh, Thomas Russell's video on this, which I'll link down below as well. I would also recommend to highly uh, look on YouTube on what an RT is. Double A, 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 R, T. Just uh, two A's, R, T, I, R, T. I would highly recommend. They'll give you some ideas of of forming your own rituals and whatnot to the deity. Anyway, so it's important to have this form of submission because thing is, um, the deity or uh, god or goddess, it, it's like a king or a lord, and obviously you would kneel before a lord or a king, right? I mean, so because you're going to ask something from it, you know, you know, in order to be really polite to such a higher being, you have to submit in some shape or form. That's you know, that's a way to look at it. So anyway, with our example here, um, we're going to use Thomas Russell as an example. He is the deity in this video, all right? Uh, no laughing, by the way. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm knelt in one knee here, showing submission to Thomas Russell. Uh, for sake of this video, let's, let's pretend he's a deity for, for, for sake of the scenario. And so for me to pray um, to... Thomas Russell, I'm asking him a request. So, for an ex in my example is, here we go. Thomas Russell, uh, teacher of custom, master of traditions, uh, he that uh, makes videos 
uh, about days of yore. Uh, uh, give me your knowledge. I swear th uh, that my ears will be forever open to you. So now I have sworn to Thomas Roussel, the deity, that I would forever have my ears open to, to his words. And, you know, if I do that, you know, then the prayer would be, um, would be fulfilled. I mean, these prayers, well, that I'm going to be creating, well, that I'm going to, be, going to have uh, prepared uh, for, um, for February, are really motivational tools. All right, you know, like, okay, you made the prayer. Okay, now, in the back of your head, okay, I've sworn to X deity that I'm going to do it. I'm going to motiv I'm going to fulfill it. I'm going to, you know, motivation to, uh, to improve yourself, to become better than you were yesterday. Okay? Um, a little criticism to myself about that prayer. Um, you know, some would say, you know, because I've looked up what an RT is, and, and some would argue, you know, when you're, do, when you're saying a prayer um, that uh, you shouldn't do it in a showy manner, like as if you're performing. No, it, it, it's an intimate, what it really is, in essence, an, an, intim an intimate conversation between you and the deity. So you have to be very genuine when you're speaking. I mean, what I did before it was just a poor example. Um, but in, in, in subsequent videos, I will uh, put out uh, the, the actual prayers that you would say uh, in genuine uh, sin, uh, sin, uh, sincerity to the God or go, uh, to a God or goddess, uh, whoever, whoever you choose. Uh, that's something to bear in mind: um, is genuineness. This, 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 isn't, this isn't something half put, if you will. It, it's something that you put yourself in. You know, you put you, you put all your eggs in if you will, in the basket, that uh, you really go out your way. And, um, you know, there's something to really important to um, I have to say here. Then again, it, it, it's an exchange between you and the deity that, oh, I'm asking for it, in order, and so the deity is there as motivation, spiritual motivation, if you will, mental motivation, if you will. And that there is no magic here. All right. Don't think you're gonna. Oh, I want a new Xbox. Oh, uh, this god will do, or goddess is gonna do this for me. No, 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 no. There's none of that. No, 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 no. I mean that that that, that is contrary to you know uh, what we're doing here. Um, there's no magic in the, uh, in the deity doing anything for you. In in essence, in, it's really all you. You know, it, it's 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 you that that is putting the effort into what you're praying for. You know, uh, it's, it's, you know, if you, you do, you know, the deity is just there just to give you that push, to give you that motivation, uh, you know, to believe in yourself. It's really all you, in essence. You know, that's why people in India still pray to Ganesh or, um, or Parvati or um, Shiva or what have you. Uh, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it, yeah, so the idea is... The, is to go to, to the direction of upward to improve yourself than you were yesterday and these prayers I'm gonna have uh, in February are, you know are gonna be of that so um, that's something to really bear in mind I'm just looking through my notes here you know um, so spiritual motivation if you will that you know you swore to do something to a metaphysical being you know uh, you know, again, to help improve your life and your well-being. Um, yeah, there's no magic. It's all you. And it's really an oath, not only to the deity, but it's really an oath to yourself as well. To, you know, to proceed, to, to uh, keep on going. To quote a video called, Many Gods, One Logic, that often what we find divine, we find within ourselves. That's something to bear in mind when thinking about prayers and making oaths to deities and, and the like. And I also would like to say that, um, you know, th these prayers that I'm going to be having released in, in, in uh, future days, that um, they're not, you know, I'm not saying this is what it is, this is you have to do, no, no, none of that. I mean, it's there if you want it. Another way to look at this is, okay, let's say you have a woman who, dr who really worked well in a dress, made it herself and whatnot, and, and like really went out her way to uh, make herself look good. You know, someone could, could uh, say, oh, that woman is blessed by Froa because she looks so good. It's divine-like because that it's, you know, she's done such a great job. Or let's say you have, 
Okay, let's use a medieval example. Let's say you have a blacksmith who um, who who made this fantastic sword f for uh, someone, and that sword was actually ended up being a very good sword in the end. You know, someone could say, "Wow, that's such a sword! It must be blessed by Wayland himself." You know, it's you know again, it's it's that motivation that gets you that that pushes you to the next level. Okay, that's something to bear in mind. Okay, so I pretty much said this to death, uh, if you will. Anyway, um, in, um, so in the future, I will be having the, these prayers. Uh, I just want a l little heads up about them. They're going to be very short videos, though. Yeah, I'll be like w one video uh, a day uh, for the whole month. Uh, yeah, so every day there'll be a video um, in, the, in the month of February. But they're going to be very, very short, though. They're just going to be just a prayer themselves. And these are just spiritual tools mental tools to help improve you your well-being and your life you know again this when i made this channel uh when i started this channel it's meant to be a resource a learning resource and now it's sort of evolving to a spiritual resource as well because now we that i've i've got to a level in old english um so well i mean some could poetically say well kevin you're blessed by woden because you know uh you, you know you've you've attained this great level of, of old english Okay, anyway, um, that, uh, you know, is a spiritual resource, so, for self-improvement. You know, that's the real uh, motivate, uh, the real intent behind uh, these future videos I'm going to be making, uh, well, uh, yeah, that we'll be making, is really um, self-improvement. To only go upward, to become better than you were yesterday. Okay, I've spent a lot in this video, uh, I hope... And I hope all of you found this video useful um, and pumped up for for the for the future prayers that will or future askings, if you will, or future oaths that some of you, some of you uh, may make. Um, I'm quite excited for this series as well. So, um, it's much it. Hey guys, I like to say uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, make videos videos wherever I can. And if you'd like to help out um, uh, uh, with with uh, my Patreon account is down below as well, so you can check that out. But anyway, guys, um, bless you all, and have a lovely day, night, or morning, wherever you are in the world. All right, guys, bye bye.